So we're starting to pump out these Mayans MC videos because the time is here. We have Mayans. It's kind of crazy how the just the advertisement of the show it should be a lot better. You know, there's not that much merchandise out there. There's I I think FX and Disney doesn't have a lot of doesn't have a lot of faith in the series. Uh, and honestly, I think I'm. I'm happy that we get this season at least. Last season, it looked like we don't even know if we we're going to get a fourth season. Uh, Elgin James says he won. He has the ending in mind, and he's thinking like, you know, for the fifth, he needs one more season. Fifth season, it's going to do it. It's very interesting, too, with the premiere of the episodes and the Galindo storyline kind of in the side, which I thought that's what they were going to do. I don't think Galindo's dead, honestly. And then uh, just a little bit of storyline still out there with Emily. Uh, you still have Ad Adelita, Potter, Potter. So the what I wanted to discuss, though, is the, the realization Okay, guys, is this is why my channel was more focused on pop culture where I cover like I'm about to do a Sopranos video. I cover Marvel. I cover toys, uh, food reviews, because I love everything pop culture. And one of them is Sons of Anarchy uh, and also Mayans MC. The realization, though, is that Mayans MC is probably either on its last season already or or it has one more season left in them. I don't see this this Mayans MC going seven seasons, and I don't even think it's gonna go six. So, as much as you know, I love this ride with you guys, love covering Mayans and love discussing it. It's me knowing that Mayans is a series that I really like. I don't absolutely love it. Of course, I think Sons of Anarchy. I love Sons of Anarchy. Um, and then I love other television shows. I think Narcos is actually better than Sons of Anarchy. And I thought watching The Sopranos, you could see why Breaking Bad got all the inspiration with The Sopranos and maybe Kurt Sutter as well. And then you have Kurt Sutter as The Shield and doing The Shield and stuff. So, and then cut Kurt Sutter not being involved in the Mayans anymore, which I think is a good move. I think uh, you do need to, you know, hand it to somebody else. But when it comes to other content, if you're going to do, you know, maybe more spinoffs of Sons of Anarchy or anything like that, you got to bring Kurt back. But, you know, the rift that he had with Disney, and I believe he doesn't really own the rights to Sons of Anarchy. <sighs> so with the Mayans... I'm enjoying the show. Everybody who's watching these videos, of course, enjoys the show. Uh, yes, there is problems with it, of course. But I think for the most part, Mayans has been a nice watch, especially, you know, waiting for each episode and discussing it. I love discussing it with you guys. But you got to realize, and I think I'm here to tell you that the realization is that Mayans, I don't think, goes beyond five seasons. I think that's it. Now, the question is, what do they do? And how does that finale come to play? If Elgin James already knows what the finale of Mines is, I'm curious if, uh, you know, who's going to live, who's going to die. I actually think Ezekiel is going to live at the end of the series, while, while I think maybe Angel, on the other hand, might perish. But other than that, what do we go, what do we do after Mayans MC? There, I, I feel like there's still a fan base for this universe, for this for this show, these series. Uh, a lot of people do get excited when, you know, Sons of Anarchy are in the frame. But I think a lot of people do want still the first nine or maybe a sequel to Sons of Anarchy, like an Abel and Thomas sequel. Or maybe just like, I, I, for me personally, I would love to see chibs as president and see how that all turns out too as the sequel you don't have to bring abel and thomas but i would like to see a sequel to sons of anarchy in chibs reign i don't think they're going to do anything right away i think it's going to be years before they start maybe moving uh, moving something around doing th having thoughts of maybe bringing something that's maybe more sons of anarchy close close to the chest if they do a sequel they're gonna have to do that one right away after mayans if not then they're probably gonna look into do a prequel the problem is kurt sutter i i think they will make amends i think somehow kurt sutter might come back uh disney seems to do that or fx you know i think they 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 seem to bury the hatchet and bring people back uh but it's going to be interesting. If Kurt Sutter doesn't come back, are you guys going to be interested in maybe a Sons of Anarchy spinoff or a prequel without Kurt Sutter? I think that's a bad move by all means. If you're going to do those two shows, that's where Kurt Sutter's hands should be involved. Of course, I think you need another person maybe to have a nice, uh, especially directorial. I don't think Kurt Sutter should be directing anything. I think he should be maybe writing and 
doing the production and handling where point A, point B, point C, and point D should be going. But I think you should bring in somebody strong to do directing duties and have an imagination to have a collaborate, collaborate kind of uh, project. Because guys, when you don't even have to like each other when you're doing film, when you're doing TV shows, whatever you're doing, you don't have to be close buddy buddies or anything like that. I think the best work is when they do contradict each other yet they're able to produce something beautiful so i think if they do go on and we go on from mayans and we do other stuff i hope they not only i hope they bring kurt sutter back because i just don't think it'll work without him if you're gonna slap the name of sons of anarchy on there now with mayans uh mayans mc it's a very i think uh you know once this series is done I think that's it. I don't think we're going to see any more anything like unless they do a spinoff or anything like that with the Mayans name in it. They're not going to be the prominent, you know, figure anymore moving forward. Even uh, even if Ezekiel lives and he's running it, he would probably play a role, a, a, a role in like a Sons of Anarchy spinoff. But here's the dire, dour news, so to speak. I also don't see them doing anything with this with this with these properties. Uh, it just really depends on the numbers this season with the season four of Mayans MC and then hopefully a season five. But with show, knowing and seeing, you know, where everything is about money, right? Everything is about toys, Funko Pops, shirts, uh, clothing, whatever. What's hot? What's talked about? What's at the water cooler kind of show right now? What's the it factor? Uh, let's say Peacemaker, man. Peacemaker blew up because of their word of mouth. I just the minds just haven't hasn't been doing that. Uh, there's some instances where they have a uh, good creative like episodes and people talk, but it's not the same talk as like a Breaking Bad had or us the Sons of Anarchy had, or even a Peaky Blinders. I think Peaky Blinders gets talked way more than Mayans MC, and you would think Mayans MC is kind of like the new hot show, but it's not. So. The dour news is I could see FX and Disney holding this, the rights to it, uh, still like coding over like the Sons of Anarchy name, getting profits on that, uh, sales, DVD sales, if there's DVD sales still going because everything's about streaming. Uh, and maybe, maybe later on selling the rights or Kurt Sutter getting the rights back if he doesn't have it already. Like there's just, it's just sad to say, but this is kind of the last ride. This is absolutely the last ride, guys. This is Jax Teller on his motorcycle taking that last ride and getting smacked by that diesel. This is it. Uh, I won't sugarcoat it. I'm a man who, who just feels like, you know, this has to be addressed. This is the elephant in the room. Either we can get more out of this, but I don't see it happening right away. And if it does happen right away, you have to do a spinoff of Sons of Anarchy while the actors are at this age, right? Well, like a lot, like, you know, Chibs, uh, Tommy Flanagan, uh, at Happy, Tig, you know, if you're going to bring those guys back. Or you put your eggs in the basket and you kind of like, you know what, we're just going to do a prequel. Or you don't do anything at all. Or they're not going to do anything at all. And if that happens, it was a hell of a ride. You know, there's always series out there that capture your attention, to capture your love. You know, it's not just Sons of Anarchy and Mayans. There's Breaking Bad. There's Better Call Saul. There's Peaky Blinders. I haven't seen Peaky Blinders yet. Uh, the Sopranos. Just watch The Sopranos. Blown away by that. You know, finally watching it and sitting down. Uh, there's Narcos. There's Narcos Mexico. <laughs> you know, there's always a series that comes along and really grabs your attention. That really just, whatever you like, right? The Shield. You know, um, there's there's series out there that are similar to what we're watching, but you love you love the universe. I get it. You know, like Breaking Bad, you love Breaking Bad. You love Better Call Saul. You like the El, uh, El Camino. You know, you want more of it. And I want more of this series. But if this is the last ride, well, hell, we're going to last ride with the Mayans. And we're going to see what happens at the end uh, if there's even like, any more peace between sons and the Mayans with all the ups and downs, especially with the writing. This is the last ride guys. This is the, maybe this could be the last series that we see. And we're in this 
Sutter universe. This may be it. Whatever happens at the end of Mayans, whatever they sh- whatever they show with the Sons or Sam Crow or mentioning Sam Crow, whatever happens to our characters, this is it. And that's the reality. There's a possibility there'll be more, but there's a greater possibility there won't be. So I wanted to address that, but I wanted to tell you guys, hell of a ride. I'm glad I'm doing reviews and I'm glad we're doing, we're, we're riding this ride together. I'm not the only one riding to the sunset. Everybody else is with me. So that's what I wanted to address. Is there going to be more content of SOA Mayans? If I was a betting man, it doesn't look good. But if I was a foolish man, I would say yes. Thank you guys. I'm Dana Manic and Dana's son. Please have a good day. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thoughts. I don't want to be the bearer. You know, it's not news, bearer bad news or anything like that. It's not official. But it's me thinking along the lines of like, okay, we're getting this season. Can we get another season? And what's going to go on after that? You don't know. We don't know. I've seen stuff come back after like 10 years. So hit the subscribe button, like the video, and make sure you check out my other content. I have other content on this channel that you might like. Uh, It's a spread of everything. So there has to be something, right? (laughs) So thank you guys. I'm out of here. You guys have been wonderful.